What Bruno Fernandes told Michael Carrick after last Man United her A in Arsenal win. Bruno Fernandes has revealed his final message to Michael Carrick before it was suddenly announced, just minutes after beating Arsenal, that the caretaker Manchester United manager will depart Old Trafford. Carrick has overseen United's past three matches after Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was sacked, and the Red Devils beat the Gunners 3-2 on Thursday night, while he was on the touchline for what was his last game at the club. But shortly after the full-time whistle, it was announced that not only will Carrick give way to Ralph Rangnick to become the club's new interim manager, he will leave entirely. Carrick departs as first-team coach with football director John Murto saying, Michael leaves with the sincerest thanks and best wishes of everyone at Manchester United after 15 years of exceptional service to the club as a player and as a coach. While we are sad to see him go, we respect and understand Michael's decision. And goalscorer Fernandes has revealed that he told Carrick after the win over Arsenal that he was still annoyed not to have made the starting lineup against Villarreal in his first game. The Portuguese playmaker was left out of the Zai for the Champions League trip to Spain, with Donny van de Beek playing in his place. Fernandes then entered the fray in the second half. Don't miss. Michael Carrick explains decision to leave Man United after Arsenal win, and he told Amazon Prime after the win over Arsenal, in which he made it 1-1. I've said to him I was really mad to be off and not in the starting 11 in his first game, and I told him now at the end of this game. For me, Michael can be a really good manager in the future if he gets the chance. He knows how to speak, he knows a lot about football. He was one of the great players that not a lot of people talk about. For what I have seen, for me he can be a top coach. Carrick himself explained to Amazon of his exit. It's not been an easy decision to make, but I feel it's the right one. I was meant to take some time off when I finished playing. I promised my family we'd have some time together and it hasn't happened. I'll be back around the place, it's not like I'm disappearing. It's just the right time, and what a way to finish. It's 100% my decision. We've worked so hard to try to bring some success here in recent years, and it's difficult when you don't quite get to those heights. But I'll have great memories of working with great people. I told the players just now it's a little bit emotional in the changing room. I held it together, just about. I can't honestly say I've given no thought to whether I'll coach again. I've been so focused on this game that I haven't even thought about what I'm doing tomorrow. Whatever happens next, happens next. No agenda, nothing going on, just take a deep breath. Rangnick, 63, will replace Carrick and will hold his first press conference as interim United manager on Friday to preview Sunday's visit of Crystal Palace. Must read. Man United star Bruno Fernandes admits it is good to change manager Fernandes said of the new man. I've not yet met him. I think he'll come tomorrow. That is what people have said to us at the club. Now is a new beginning and a new start. Every game is a new beginning and a new start. This is a great win and we have to carry on for the next one. And the midfielder added of the defeat of Mikel Arteta's arsenal, with Cristiano Ronaldo making it 2-2 and then 3-2. Of course, every win is really important for us at this moment. There's been a two of ups and downs. It's been hard for us to come out of that. Today we got a great win. We can't stop here and we can't be satisfied just because we beat Arsenal, even if we